Hello, friends. Do you love to travel and learn about new places and things? Great, then you are in the right place. Join Jasmine the cat and Gracie the tortoise as they have fun exploring the USA, the world, and beyond. Hello, friends. It's Jasmine, the jazzy gray cat, here with my bestie, Gracie, the super smart tortoise. Say hi, Gracie. Greetings, my good friends. Gracie here. I'm so glad you joined us today as we explore the island of Madagascar. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world, and it's surrounded by the Indian Ocean. Anatanarivo, the capital, is in the center of the island and is also called Tana for short. When I hear about Madagascar, I think about that funny movie, The Penguins of Madagascar by Disney. It was such a funny movie. But you know what, Gracie? There aren't any giraffes, zebras, lions, or hippos that live here. Or really even any penguins. But I guess you can put anything you want in a movie. Madagascar is home to plants and animals that are found nowhere else in the world. I can't wait to meet those cutie lemurs. Lemurs are only found in the wild here and are all over the island. Why is this, Gracie? Doesn't Madagascar want to share? It's not about sharing, Jasmine. When land like an island is surrounded by water on all sides, it's not easy for animals to get to the island or to leave it. I guess not, unless they have a boat. The silky sea facus lemur is one of the rarest animals on Earth and can only be found in the rainforest, along with giant leaf-tailed geckos and eye-eyes. Eye-eyes are lemurs that like to sleep during the day and come out at night. Spider tortoises and dumerals boas live in the deserts. Madagascan plover birds like to fly around the island. And we can't forget humpback whales and pygmy blue whales swimming in the ocean nearby. I can't wait to look for them all. Gracie, are you related to the spider tortoise? I am not, but I can tell you about them. The spider tortoise gets its name from the web-like pattern of yellow lines on its dark brown or black shell. It's the smallest of the four tortoises that live here. But now let's not forget the people who live here, too. We will hear some English spoken. But the people here are more likely to speak Malagasy and French. Many people live in small villages and are farmers. Villages often hold celebrations with lots of dancing to the music of a valiha, the national instrument of Madagascar. What's a valiha? It's an instrument made from a long tube of bamboo with strings attached at both ends. The musician holds it upright or under her arm and plucks the strings. I'll bet it's fun to dance to. It is. Now I'm ready to explore, are you? How about we go and see some trees? Trees? Yes, here in Morandava, we can admire the baobab tree. Gracie, we've seen this tree before. It's all over Africa. Not like this. What do you think? This is so cool. Where are we? I am just like a princess walking to my throne with all my tree subjects lined up to admire me. We're at Baobab Alley. We're walking through a street lined with six of the eight kinds of baobab trees that are only found here on Madagascar. Some of these trees are over 800 years old. That's a lot of birthday cakes. And they are really tall, over a hundred feet high. That makes me feel really tiny. Sometimes they're called bottle trees because the trunk can hold lots of water. Animals and people can get water from the tree when there's no rain. Isn't that nice of the tree to share? Nature knows how to take care of all her creatures. Come on, let's go find some lemurs. There are over 70 different kinds here. Gracie, why is this ground so red? That's a very different color for dirt. Yes, it is. This red earth is why Madagascar is called the Great Red Island. Iron in the soil gives it that color. 
Ah, uh, here we are at Isala National Park for some lemur spotting. This park is a desert and is very dry and brown. Reminds me of when we went out and visited the Wild West in the United States. I'm really glad we brought water. This hike is making me thirsty. Oh boy, look over there, ring-tailed lemurs. They aren't afraid of us, so we can see them up close. I like their fun tails with the black and white rings. The ring-tailed lemur is about 15 inches long, but their tails are about 24 inches long. Each tail has exactly 13 white and 13 black rings on it. A group is called a troop, and when they travel together, their tails are raised up in the air, just like flags, to keep the group members together. That would be so much fun to see. It would be like a ringtail parade. Oh, Gracie, don't those ringtails over there look like they're doing yoga meditation with their tummies up to the sun and their hands and feet out at their sides? Namaste, friends. Yes, they do. Ringtails sit this way to warm up their undersides before they go and look for leaves, flowers, and insects to eat. Ooh, over there. I see some safaka lemurs. They are gorgeous. The fur on their bodies is white with brown on their tummies, and their faces are black. They look so silky soft. I agree. These primates are different from other lemurs by how they move. They start by sitting up, and then they spring through the trees using their strong back legs. Their name comes from the sound they make as they go through the trees. Shifak, shifak. I'm glad we saw some lemurs. But how about another unusual animal, the fossa? It looks sort of like a mongoose and a cat. This I have to see. Are you sure? They're not very friendly. Their red-brown body is much like a puma's with a very long tail. Their head is shaped like the mongoose. They like to live in forests and rainforests and enjoy lemurs for lunch. Um, maybe not then. They don't sound very friendly. Why don't we go to Nosy B? Gracie, I'm not being nosy. No, Jasmine, you're not. Nosy means island in Malaysia. So we're going to B Island. It's also called the Scented Island. Okay, then. Ooh, I know why it's called the Scented Island. It smells so good here from all the Lang Lang bushes growing everywhere. I like the yellow star-shaped flowers. And over there, I see some people. Look at the faces of those girls. They have face paintings on them. Those girls are part of the Sakalava people. To protect their faces from the sun, they do mason joni, which is the art of face painting using sandalwood powder from sandalwood trees. This way, they look beautiful, and they don't get sunburned. If I didn't have fur, I would get some flowers painted on my face, too. A great way to look beautiful and be protected from the hot sun. Oh my, look at those cows. They look different than the cows I know with that big hump on their shoulders. Those are Zebus cattle. Just like a camel's hump, fat is stored there to be used during times of little rain. They are the national animal of Madagascar. Really? I thought it would be the lemur. But I guess a Zebus is more useful. Why don't we finish up by relaxing here on Andalane Beach and looking for humpback whales? Great idea, Gracie. I'm tired. It's so nice to relax on my towel. I like looking up at those fancy palm trees. The palm leaves are sticking up from the top of the trunk just like a fan. They are unusual. The Ravenala Traveler Pine is the national tree of Madagascar. Out there, I see the magnificent whales jumping through the water. I see some, too. What a great way to end our trip to Madagascar. Let's tell whale jokes. What do you call a whale who goes to kindergarten? A beginning student? Good guess, but the answer is a little squirt. Ah, uh, I see. My turn. How did the octopus make the whale laugh? I know, with tentacles. Tentacles. I guess the whale was ticklish. My favorite place was feeling like a princess walking under those tall baobab trees. How about you, Gracie?
My favorite place was Isalo National Park to see the lemurs. How about you, friends? What was your favorite place? Don't forget to tell someone you love. That's right. And come back next time. We're headed to South America. Bye now. Say goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, my dear friends. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining Jasmine and Gracie on their adventure today. Come back next week for the next one. Hello, everybody. It's Gwen here. If you want to know more about the places we visited, just go to our website, jasmineandgracie.podbean.com, and go to the sources page, and you can find out all about the great places that we visited. See you next week. Bye-bye.